Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vert is here and today we're back inside of Photoshop and we're going to be giving you guys a quick introduction to layers and groups. So if you take a quick look at my scene at the moment, you can see there is quite a lot going on. So you can see I've got all of my text layers here and all of these different pieces of text are different colours, different styles and I've also got the background and the bars as well. And the way that this is all sort of broken up inside of Photoshop and sort of telling it the way that it should be displayed on the screen is the layers. So the layers is in the panel in the bottom right hand corner here and these layers tell it which order to display things and then also each element is going to have some different styling and some different properties attached to it. So everything that you create inside of Photoshop is going to be a different layer. So for example if I go ahead and create a rectangle by just using the rectangle tool and then begin to draw it just by clicking and dragging it's going to create a new layer in the layers panel over here. So if you guys want to be able to follow along with this a little bit easier, I just wanted to let you guys know there is a download link in the description for project files so you can actually see this thumbnail image that I've got here and then you can sort of start breaking it apart or even maybe even using stuff like this for yourself. So anyway, taking a look at all the layers in the in the right hand side here, you can see I've got a couple of layers. So first things first, we've got a couple of layers for text. So we've got 40k subscribers ask me and then anything as well and that's all sort of separate to everything else. So because I actually want this text to be displayed on top of everything else what I need to do is actually have these layers at the highest point here. If I was for example to move this 40k subscribers uh, layer down to the bottom below my rectangles it's then going to be shown underneath the rectangle and it's not going to be quite as prominent for the user to look at. So hopefully this is sort of giving you a good idea of just how important layers is and how layers are actually used to organize your content sort of up and down where it should be displayed on the screen. All of your layers also have a couple of different settings attached to them as well. For example, with my subscribers I've then got some blending options as well so these are all going to be down at the bottom here so gradient overlay drop shadow and then I can also toggle the visibility of this layer off and on so if you want to toggle it off and on you know if you're finished with it you might just want to get rid of it just get it off the screen so you can do that using the little eye icon over here if you've already got some blending options set up for your layer, you're also going to have the gradient overlay little icon here that you can turn on and off. Same goes for the drop shadow if you've set it up. Um, so the gradient overlay is sort of just what gives it this sort of two-tone effect. It's hard to see here. We'll go into that in a little bit more detail later on on the series. So if I wanted to get to some of these blending options, I just go to blending options after right clicking on it and then I can go and add all of this stuff. For example, if I wanted to add a little glow and maybe make it red, I could do that quite simply and then just turn up the opacity and there you are, it's quite simple. And that's all been added in the layers panel down here. Now, don't worry if you didn't catch on to the blending option stuff um, straight away there. We're going to be going over that separately later on in the series. For now, hopefully I can just, you know, it's just meant to be showing you how simple it is to get your head around layers and then sort of just get the rough understanding that each layer is going to have its own styling. So enough of that. We can toggle it on and off and we can do so the same thing for the blending options. There's also a couple of other things that we can do with layers. So if you've got a lot of similar layers that you don't want to be all over the place, because if we look at what we've got now, there's just way too many layers. So let's say we wanted to group the text together to make it a little bit easier to toggle on and off or even find later on we can do that. So if you just press control and then click multiple layers, you can then select them all and you can create a group. To create the group, you can either press the little uh, folder icon down there or alternatively, you can also press control G and you will get that group there. If you want to rename this, you can do so just by double clicking on the name and then just naming it whatever you want. For me, that's just going to be simply text. And then with this text folder, I can now change the effects for everything inside of here. So for example, if I wanted to, I could toggle the visibility of that text group on and off. And that's going to apply it to every single layer that I have got inside of that group, which is quite nice. Also, if I right click that, I can then go and merge the group so it's all just one object instead of 
sort of free objects inside of a group, which is quite nice. Um, you know, a little bit, we'll be going into that in a little bit more detail later on, but for now, we're not going to worry about it. So going back inside of my group and looking at just one of my layers, there's a couple of things that you might want to do. For example, you might want to lock it. If you lock it, you can no longer make any changes to this. So if I was to press the T text tool and try and change my 40k subscribers text, I won't be able to do that. Um, it's just going to say, you know, you can't do that because the layer is locked. So if you've finished with a specific element or a finished layer or a specific layer, just go ahead and lock it. That way you can't accidentally make any changes. You'll probably, you know, find the need to do that later on when you have more complex documents. So you can unlock it again just by pressing the icon once again. And then from here, you can also do a couple of other things. You can also change, you know, the fill or the opacity. So the opacity is pretty much how visible it's going to be on your screen. So if you set this all the way down to zero, it's going to be completely invisible. If you set it to something like 40%, it's going to be slightly see-through, slightly transparent. And then if you set it up to 100, it's going to be seen all the time. So anyway, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over for layers. Hopefully you guys are getting a better understanding of layers, of how layers work. And once again, guys, Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and as always, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.